All right, today we're going to take a look at the Naki Eliminator for the Game Boy or Game Boy Color. Uh, it even works in one of these little puppies if you have one of them. So let's see what this is all about. So I really like these uh, cool cases uh, that they come in, or these little plastic things, because rather than being like those uh, crazy neat scissors and shears, basically just to get into them, these things actually have a reclosable style. <laughs> Give me a second. I mean, I call it reclosable, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. So here it is the Naki Eliminator for the Game Boy. Now, the Naki Eliminator uh, series is actually very popular among NES collectors because it uses a system that has a small 3M style uh, see if it focus a small 3M style strip that holds their special Eliminator fluid like this right here and uh, rather than a cloth style, which could leave little particles in the little little pins in here in the, in the actual system that could cause shorts, uh, not as uh, not shorts. I mean, like could cause damage. It's not as bad in the Game Boy or like the Super Nintendo or other systems because they are open. But because the original uh, Nintendo system had the little toaster on the top, you know, you could you could. Uh, you can't really get into it to access it, so anything that comes in there could really screw it up. So here, what what you're supposed to do is you uh, pop open a little eliminator fluid, and you toss a little bit, a few drops maybe, on the little applicator here. You then apply it to the top of the little strip get it wet and this will work in let's say a mega memory card clean one of these or the little pocket pop it in pop it out um, after popping it in you might want to reapply to get some of the dust that's already on the eliminator off and then maybe apply a little more stuff try it again this will pro this will do a good job of uh, ultimately getting as much of it off of the system as possible and we'll do that again before we put it into the Game Boy Advance SP we apply that and then pop it into here it'll also work for the Super Game Boy and uh, the Game Boy Advance player for the uh, GameCube. This little adapter is pretty fun uh, as well because you can use it. Uh, I would recommend using the other end uh, and get this wet and use it to clean the contacts of any game you want. And I'm cleaning the Tetris cartridges I have right here. You know, so you can clean that off as well as you know cleaning the inside of the system. So. I think these are really great for any system you own. They even have a CD version, uh, a Super Nintendo version, a uh, Genesis version. They're actually pretty cheap if you can find them. Uh, they're usually not that hard to find, but they, they don't come on very often onto eBay. And sometimes this little, uh, this little thing is empty. So hopefully if you find one, you get one that at least works and uh, isn't busted or anything. So yeah, this is uh, my review. I think that uh, I would recommend this for the Super the, for the Super Nintendo ga the Super Game Boy player for the Super Nintendo uh, more than anything because of how easy that system is uh, to getting dirty and how hard it is to maintain because it is locked up in there. And let me get one. Here's the Super Game Boy. It is 
kind of uh, hard to get to in this in this in this case because rather than the thin side being easily accessible, there's a you know a whole thing around it. And even if you do take this apart using a security bit, it won't actually allow you to get into here because you know Nintendo is very secretive about their stuff. So let me show you again. You pop the eliminator in there, pop it out, maybe reapply some of that fluid and clean some of the dust that you've got on there from it. Pop it in there again. And uh, that'll help your games run better and help maintain them longer because it is kind of easy to get dust or any sort of particulates on them, which does increase the chance of the um, contacts getting uh, a little a little bit uh, tarnished because a lot of these games and systems like especially these games have uh, a gold coating on them which doesn't exactly rust but it is prone to tarnishing if you don't maintain them properly keeping them in the small plastic plastic cases or a, uh, a container of some sort so uh... it's Ryuichi signing off taking a look at the Naki Eliminator for the Game Boy thank you very much for watching